What up guys, it's Survive from Survive Hack Cartel and of course we're back with another video. So I want to talk about the loot box changes in this episode of Overwatch Weekly and honestly that's the only thing that I want to talk about because I also want to express some of my thoughts on uh, this interesting turn of events. Honestly I never expected Blizzard to actually change uh, the loot box, like I, the, the loot boxes, like I thought you know we're just gonna keep getting shitty duplicates and we're gonna keep getting like no currency out of them. It just made a lot of sense, you know, because the loot box system that they have makes them a lot of money, but they completely changed this. So yesterday, Jeff, you know, made a developer update. I'm going to link it in the description, okay? And he pretty much went on to say that loot boxes are getting changed. So now you're going to get less duplicates, and he said that it's actually going to be pretty noticeable, you know, the... the um, you know the decrease in duplicates is actually pretty noticeable and he also basically said that if you do get a duplicate you are gonna get more currency because I'm not gonna lie you know when I heard that you were going to get less duplicates I was also saying wait so if I get less duplicates how am I going to build up currency because my currency was the only reason why I was able to get every uh, skin in the anniversary event because you know I, I play a lot and I am able to get you know all of the currency that I need for the next event long story short I'm very very glad that these changes were made to the loot boxes. I mean the com the community has been complaining about loot boxes for a long time and like I said it just doesn't make any sense at all whatsoever for Blizzard to, for Blizzard to change this crazy amazing and super genius business model. They were it was just making them so much money, but I guess they don't really care more about they, they care more about the community more than they care about money which is honestly a really good idea okay because obviously without the community there is no game you know without the overwatch community there is no overwatch and i'm very very glad that they did the right thing also uh you know another reason why i'm very very glad that these loot box changes are going to be coming in it's because now this means that you have to play less to get you know more event skins and you know emotes and all that stuff let me give you guys an example so I had to play, let's use the Chinese New Year event. I had to play the Chinese New Year event. I had to know life it for about two weeks, playing for about eight hours, 10 hours or so every single day. In other words, it took me a total of 71 loot boxes to get every single skin in the Chinese New Year event. Well, now, uh, let's say that the new loot box changes, you know, do come in. It's probably going to take you maybe 50, maybe even 40 loot boxes to actually get every single thing that you want from an event. Now, the only thing that I'm hoping for is that if the summer event, uh, if the summer games event, it's going to be coming soon. The only thing that I pray that Papa Jeff does is that he makes the old summer game skins available for purchase and available for you to get them in loot boxes so you know you are you have a, a huge increase of getting less duplicates okay so if they put the old summer game skins in the new you know summer games loot boxes plus they also have new summer game thingies that means that you know you can only you can also get the previous year's summer event skins and this year's uh summer skins I don't know I feel like that's one of the reasons why they also did this change in the loot box because here's what I was thinking right I was thinking okay so what they're going to do in the summer event is they're going to put the old skins from last year's event and they're going to put new skins and then people are going to start complaining that they're getting old skins that they got last year and you know the community is going to be mad and all that stuff so maybe they did this loot box change like that when the summer event comes around uh, people aren't complaining that they're getting, you know, skins that are from last year's events. Honestly, I think everybody deserves a shot to get the summer event skins from last year because, you know, maybe they got Overwatch on Halloween or maybe they got Overwatch on Christmas or maybe they got Overwatch on the free weekend. And obviously, you know, those, you know, some of those skins are pretty good, like the Nihon Genji skin, like the Tricolor Widowmaker skin. I love that skin, specifically since her ass looks so amazing in it. But anyways, um. That's enough for today guys, thank you guys very much for tuning in. I'm very very glad that these loot box changes are coming in because honestly the biggest reason why I'm very glad these loot box changes are coming in is because now we know that it's going to be easier to get event related stuff. It's going to be easier to get those legendaries, those rares, those um, what's this thing called, those purples. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed it drop a like, subscribe to join the Sabahai Cartel and I'll see you guys on my next video, peace.